Hello everybody, I hope you're all well, and football shirts are being released each and every day now, thick and fast. I thought it might be interesting to have a look at some of the best design shirts that are going to be worn during this upcoming season. And I thought, well, let's start with one of the best football shirt manufacturers, maybe the best football shirt manufacturer, in my opinion, probably is, Macron, of course. And in honour of that, I'm wearing a different Italian brand, and actually I'm wearing long sleeves for the first time, probably ever in my life. Uh, it's a shirt that I've had for quite some time. I have no idea how it looks. Anyway, so Macron have been releasing some great stuff uh, over the sort of last few months. You've probably seen a few of them yourselves, but I thought just in case a few might slip through the net, let's just run through some of the better ones that I've seen. I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come, and there's probably some that I've missed also. So let's start with a separate team, Apoel FC. They've been with Macron for a wee bit now, and to be honest, both their home and the away shirts that have been released are really nice. But I've gone for the away one purely because of the way that the sort of the Applewell crest is in, sort, of, sort of shown in going down the front here on this sort of side panel vertical stripe thing going on there. You've got your your blue, you've got your, your sort of your white diagonal, and then you've got your faded yellow effect there. And also at the bottom of there it says 1926, of course, which is the year of founding. So it's just a small little details, and plus those those cuffs. I mean, they're quite wide, but they are really, really nice, and I like the, the colour combination there. Next up, we have Bristol Rovers away shirt. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of the Dundee United away shirt. I think that's the one from last season, and it's just sort of this paint splatter effect. It has this sort of minty green colour, which is starting to see a little bit more application. You had those teams from MLS that, you, that were wearing it, and I think a few more teams have sort of adopted it this season. This is really, really nice. It has a round neck collar, which is not my favourite styling, but, you know, the rest of the shirt is really, really cool. So I think Bristol fans should be quite happy with that one. Then we have one of my best and favourite shirts of the season. It's the Club Bruges away shirt. I do need a Club Bruges shirt. I was actually going to grab one from Classic Football shirts because they just posted a few of last season's clearance. They were actually really nice. But as soon as I've seen this one, I'm like, no, I'm going to wait and hold out for this one to be released because it's just really, really cool. It's a unique style. And you've got all these sort of stripes running in all sorts of different colours and, and, and sort of ways. And it's just, it's just, it's just nice. They've released their home shirt, which is pretty simple. It's what you expect from Club Bruges. Who knows what their third shirt's gonna look like? Then we have this Crystal Palace shirt. I think we have to include this, even though it is effectively Hadjuk Split's shirt from last season. It's still a nice design. And if I liked last season's Hadjuk shirt, it's kind of unfair for me not to include this one because it is the same shirt. All of their shirts released this year have been sort of used that crayon got swiggle effect. You know, whether it go this way, that way, the other way. I think Crystal Palace fans would be pretty pleased with what Macron have offered them. Then we have a sort of a similar style, I guess. This is Dundee FC shirt. It's their away shirt. I actually have a Dundee shirt, but it's pretty plain. I think it's a Puma one. Not the most exciting. If this one is towards the end of the season dropping in price to a clearance of maybe about £25, probably going to pick this one up and replace the one I have because I just love this styling. It's just, it's just very unique. Definitely Macron inspired. And I like the colours as well. Next we have FC Basel, so they're now with Macron, and to be honest, both shirts look really, really good. In fact, I feel like they're kind of an inverse of each other. They've got this sort of very subtle pattern running down the front. I've gone for this one because I love the club crest. I just love how simple it is, and I also like the color. I do have a little bit of a uh, soft spot for cream shirts. I don't really have all that many in my collection, but they do very do stand out quite nicely. And especially the way Macron have done this, I'm sure it's very classy. So maybe, once again, if this one drops into a clearance, I may get this one and replace the one I currently have, which is not the most amazing of shirts, I must admit. Then we have SE DAC 1904 Dunscheiker Strada. Who knows how I'm pronouncing that one right? It's their home shirt. They've been with Macron for uh, quite a while now. And to me, there's been a few occasions where I've been able to um, pick up one of these, but I just, I just didn't do it for some reason, which is weird because it's, you know, they're from a country that you don't see too many shirts from. This one's just really cool. I just like this sort of center, sort of vehicle going down there with sort of this uh, broken up sort of brush stroke effect, I suppose, in there. And I like the way the sponsor sort of fits in the middle and it sort of breaks it apart there. And plus their logo, again, is, is, is quite cool with the DAC. And also how the Macron sort of uh, hero crest it sort of fits nicely in there as well. It is sort of centralized, but it's balanced by the uh, sort of possibly league sponsor uh, on, on the other breast there. So that's that's quite a cool one. Here in Veen, now they are with Macron as well. And you know what? I'm 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 
not sure what to do with this one to be honest because this shirt is absolutely amazing not only do the colors look great but it's that giant viking ship that's on the front there it might be a little bit subtle i must admit when i first saw this shirt i just looked at it and thought that's really cool totally ignoring the fact that there's a viking ship at the bottom there my only problem is here in Veen, they have such unique home shirts with the styling and the, and the, the pedals on on the front there i feel like i sh i kind of have to get that but this one is just so good now to be honest last season's um here in Veen away shirt was really nice also uh, but i decided against that one We'll see what happens. They don't come up too often for sale in the UK, but now they're with Macron, they'll probably be able to buy them on the Macron store. I know you can get the home shirt, but I don't think I've seen the away shirt yet. Then we have Hellas Verona. Uh, this is their away shirt also, and I have one of their shirts. Again, it's not the most amazing, but this one, I just really like the colour scheme. It's sort of this lighty yellow, almost getting towards a cream once again. I just think it's really nice and simple. Blue trims, I like the crest. Yes, it has a polo collar, but it's got these like really nice buttons. I just think it looks really nice. I think possibly if you see it in person, it's going to go one way or the other. It may look even better, or it might not be quite as sort of as, as, as cool as, as this one here. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens on that one. Then we have uh, Nice third shirt. So this one I've just kind of gone for because I kind of like the weird color set. You've got this purple and orange. It's a combination that you don't really see too often on football shirts. So I thought it might be interesting to have both of those. I have a Nice shirt, which is a Bird of Sport manufacturer, which is kind of cool. I like the fact that that's the only one I have of, of that manufacturer. It's not too common. Um, the home and the away shirts are actually not too bad for Nice. They're pretty standard, whereas this one I thought just stood out a little bit. So for the people who like the sort of wild designs, this one could be an option. Now, this one is possibly my, one of my favorite shirts of the season. Now, I would be getting it with the sponsors on, which for some people might just totally ruin the shirt, but for me, I think they're, they're positioned uh, subtly. They're, it's not going to destroy the whole look of the shirt, but Sampdoria, their third shirt, this yellow, that crest, just the way that the, the sort of, the, the, the front sort of horizontal stripes, you've got the shield. I think it's just amazing. It's an absolutely amazing shirt and when I first saw it released, I was like, yep, this is my time to get a Sampdoria shirt. I've been needing one for a while, and hopefully I can find one that has the sponsors on. A little bit trickier. This one is for sale in the Macron store, but it doesn't have sponsors yet, so maybe buy it direct? I don't know. Then we had to get a Stoke shirt in there. I think Stoke have um, released three really great shirts this season, to be honest. I think it's... Um, I might be wrong here, but they don't typically release their shirts. Uh, this is their away shirt, though technically I think when they advertised it they had away one and away two, not third. I don't know why clubs do that, it's kind of frustrating. But this one stood out the most for me, I just love that sash, the way it's running down there. And the fact that it's broken into three stripes, with one being thicker than the other two, I think it looks great. Yes, it has the Bet365 logo, but it's sort of, the way it's drawn, it looks like it's covered, it goes around the, the, the sash there. And then the trims on the collar and the uh, cuffs, it's really nice. Yes, it's still Stoke, but... I think this is a nice little effort there. And then finally, I've gone for Tanana Calcio, another Italian team. And to be honest, last season their shirts were all great. Their third shirt was one I had my wish list, but I just didn't buy it for some reason. Maybe I was hoping for classic football shirts to get some in the, in the, in the sort of clearance. That's not happened yet. I've gone again for their third shirt. This has got this graphic on the front, which according to the Mac website is meant to be tribute to the fans and the corners of the stadium or something. I was also then thinking, could I go for the away shirt, which is really, really nice, the white one. It's sort of this sort of V going down there. And even to be honest, the home shirt's not too bad. I think I need to grab one of theirs at some point because they just released really nice shirts and Macron are doing great things there. But those are the shirts that I've pulled out. There's plenty more, I'm sure. There's some more less understated ones and there's probably some crazy ones that are sort of floating around the world that I just couldn't find images of. But uh, yeah, if you're a, a fan of Macron, this is another good season for us. If you haven't got a Macron shirt, and hopefully this should have sort of given some ideas of what you can buy. So let me know which of the ones that you like there, which are the ones <coughs> that you're going to be looking to get. And if there's any that you know of that I've not mentioned here, of course, mention those as well. Anyway, I'm pretty certain I'm going to grab a few of them as the season progresses. As always, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you have a continued great week. And I'll see you on Friday with some more shirt hunting experiences. Goodbye.